Now, if the 2019 Mac Pro rumors are correct, the Mac Pro we're going to be getting is a modular stackable computer, which isn't far off from my prediction of being able to upgrade the RAM and CPU, but have to buy the proprietary SSDs from Apple, as well as having it use MXM graphics cards. All that set aside, if you want the Mac Pro that you're looking for, we can build it today. The case we're going to be using is the Ghost S1, and the reason for that is that it looks like it's a matte case to start with. If it just came in silver or space gray, you could flat out put an Apple logo on the side of it and call it a Mac. The CPU powering this whole thing is going to be an Intel 8700K, going with our Gigabyte Z370 Mini ITX motherboard. Now this CPU gets pretty hot, and so we're going to cool it with the Noctua NHL12 CPU cooler. Now because this CPU cooler covers the entire motherboard, we're going to have to install our RAM and SSDs before we go ahead and put on that cooler. For RAM, we're using 32 gigabytes, which of course it's more expensive, but we want to make sure we get as much as we can in this case. For storage, we've got two NVMe M.2 drives, both of which are one terabyte. Now this motherboard holds two M.2s, one in the front and one in the back. So we're going to be able to put in one terabyte NVMe's on the front, a terabyte in the back, and we'll put those in RAID 0, and then you can get some blazing fast SSD speeds. Once all that's installed, we're going to put our cooler back on, which is a fairly straightforward process. For the graphics card, we're going to be using the AMD Vega Frontier Edition. Now the reason for this is this is actually the most powerful natively supported GPU that you can put in a Mac right now. I know the Radeon 7 is out and it's more powerful, however the drivers still aren't available until macOS 14.4 most likely. And I can't get a hold of it, it's out of stock. Now the 600 watt power supply we're using is modular. And that's important because having the modular power supply without having SATA or Molex requirements means we can remove two entire cables from there, which in a small case like this, cable management can be difficult. As you can see here though, uh, these are all stock cables, nothing custom, and I am able to fit everything in there just fine and dandy. No issues whatsoever. After everything is plugged in and powered up with both our motherboard and our GPU ready to go, normally you just put the sides on this case and it would be ready to go. However, there are two things I want to tweak with this. First of all, because it is in fact a Hackintosh, the Wi-Fi on the board will not work. So you either have to update the Wi-Fi card, which we can't with only one PCIe slot, or you use a USB adapter, which we are going to end up using. The second thing I want to change is I want to have some front audio because while I don't mind plugging my hard drives and stuff in the back of the computer, I like the idea if I'm not doing work just to be able to plug in some headphones on the front. So to do this, we're going to go ahead and we're going to take a dual USB 3 front optical adapter and we're just going to remove those cables from the actual metal. Now we've got our free cables that we can just plug right into the motherboard. So we're going to do that and then throw in our two attachments, which are in fact our Wi-Fi USB adapter, which we will insert and then just kind of tuck in at the bottom of the case. And then our front, or I should say top front, audio I.O., which I'm going to simply attach using some 3M adhesive. Once that's done, we are ready to close up the panels. But once again, I'm doing one thing differently. Now, I previously had a case with a glass siding, and I absolutely loved being able to see my GPU. So at least for now, I went ahead and I cut a nice sheet of acrylic, and I put it in there on the side so that you could see my Vega Frontier Edition graphics card. I like it now. Whether I stick with that or not, I do not know. But let's go ahead, boot it up, and check some benchmarks.